When I'm a Detroit player, stacking my paper, stacking so high, need a fucking elevator. I'm a deep boy, I'm a, I'm a. What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy Dre, this is the casual beast for the average gamer. Uh, this is part two to a video I put up earlier, uh, depending on when this video goes up, it might have been a week or a couple of weeks, um, discussing Call of Duty and gullible gamers, so this is technically part two of, um, you know, why are Call of Duty gamers, you know, uh, you know, diehards in this series so gullible, and I'm not talking about the average, you know, the casual Call of Duty player who, you know, who plays that, but also plays a ton of other games, I'm talking about the diehards who... You know, no matter what, they defend the game. You know, there's nothing wrong with it. No matter how much bullshit, you know, it's their game. That's what they play. That's the only thing they like. You know, they don't branch out in anything. And people have a right to play what they want. I'm not getting on that. I'm just wondering when are, when are gamers like you know going to figure out? Even they call it, you know, especially the Call of Duty types. When are you going to figure out and demand more and expect more? You know what I mean? As long as people keep buying that shit in the current state, they're going to keep pumping it out. And just like I touched on in the last video, it's the same thing with Call of Duty Ghosts. This is why they are not showing you anything multiplayer-wise. They don't want you to see it because they know people are going to go, holy shit, it's the same damn thing. Well, you know, I'm moving on to Titanfall or, you know, I'm moving on to Planet Side 2 on consoles or, you know, so Black Light Retribution on PS4 or something. You know what I mean? They don't want you to see that. And that's been their practice. And every year you get burned by it. I, you know, I don't get it. It's the same thing with Black Ops 2. You know, and again, I'm not talking about the 12 year olds and the, you know, that the don't know any better that are, you know, Call of Duty fans and all that. They're young. They don't know any better. What's cracking me up is the people that I get into it about it are grown ass men. I mean, you're talking 20 something year old dudes that, you know, they really are blinded by it and they really think nothing's wrong, you know, and nothing's going to change with that series until, you, you know, you make a dent in it with your wallet. And that doesn't seem to going to happen because it's so casual of a game, you know, that, you know, it just, it sells well, you know, I, and I just don't get when gamers are going to be, you know, going to get smarter. I mean, the reason I'm bringing this up is I want the game to improve because I want to play it, you know. I don't, in the state it is right now, I don't fuck with Call of Duty. You know, the newer ones, I don't play them. You'll see me every now and then, I'll play COD 4 on PS3 and a PC. I'll play Modern Warfare 2 on uh, PS4. I'm sorry, I, I don't know why I said PS4 for both of them, <laughs> on PS3 and PC. Um, you know, I have old copies of them, but I won't play anything further from that, like Black Ops. Um, you know, sometimes I dabble with Modern Warfare 3 on the, my PS3, but that's a rare occasion. You know, that game had a lot of black compensation problems, too. But Black Ops 2, I won't touch it. I mean, that was, that was just the most horrible travesty of a game they've ever put out. And then people rag on El Presidor, you know, but... In reality, what he's saying is right. Treyarch is absolutely fucking terrible. They are. They're terrible. It's not even just that they put out a bad product. They knew it was going to be. You know what I mean? They tried They just, They just. tried to hide it. It was just purely a money grab. Yes, it has some features that help the game as far as, you know, EMP grenades and, you know, stuff, whatever. But the bottom line is the biggest problem with Call of Duty is the connectivity, you know. It is screwed up. The networking, the net code, the hit detection, the lag comp, the cameras, that stuff is screwed up. And they just ignored it and ignore it and ignore it because they know people are going to buy it anyway. And only the smart gamers are going to bitch about it. And again, I just don't get when Call of Duty type gamers are going to figure out, you know, that you're not, you, you know, don't stand for this shit, don't buy the fucking game, and then it will get fixed, yes, you may lose your Call of Duty fix for one year, but I guarantee you, after, when, when, if that money crunch ever comes, they, Activision will make them overhaul the game, you will actually get a true new engine, you will actually get probably dedicated servers at that point, but as long as people just keep accepting it and making excuses for it, and buying it, I mean, nothing's going to change, you know. I would like to go back and play some Call of Duty, you know, newer Call of Duty, you know, Duty. I don't really, I don't hate the series for, for what it stands for. I just hate that the games have just gone to shit, you know, and and they just pass it off. But, I mean, that's on purpose. They want to make, they want, it's all about money, which, you know, 
to an extent it should be. You got to make money, but this this game could be so much better and could be so much um, of a better franchise. And you know they're just relying on these guys who just are drones. You know what I mean? It's just as bad as Xbox drones, like Call of Duty drones. No matter what, they find an excuse. You know they'll sit there and get cheated and lag comps to death on their screen, and they'll go, oh. No, it wasn't that. It, you know, it was an. Ex and I'm like, wow, dude, are, are we looking at the same screen? You know, you can clearly see it, and you know, it doesn't bother them. But you know, me, I'm too much of a competitive person. I don't like to get cheated. You know, what I mean, don't show me. The biggest thing I got a problem with is with the lag comp and whatnot, and the camera issues, like with Black Ops 2. Don't tell me that I'm at a certain spot on the map and I'm shooting at a certain spot on my screen. But in reality, I'm five feet to the left or right or back, and I'm shooting seven feet from where I look like I'm shooting. You know what I mean? How can you play a game when you can't trust what's on your own screen? And in reality, you're somewhere else. That is the problem. Half of the time, you, what you see on your screen is a lie. It's not even accurate to what's in game or what the other player sees. And you can't, you can't call it skill because the game is lying to you the whole time. You know what I mean? And, you know, every now and then it, people get on the good side of lat comp, you know, depending on where the host is or depending on their connection. And then the game runs great for you and, you know, you go, you know, 90 and 1 and you think, oh, my God, I'm great. But then the host changes and all of a sudden, you know, you're in a game where you can't kill anybody again with the same setup. So it's just too all over the place. And, you know, I just can't believe that Call of Duty gamers are just so gullible with this, you know what I mean? It, it's happening again, people. Call of Duty Ghosts, is, nothing's going to change with that, you know what I mean? They're, all, they're pretty much already letting you know this. This is why they don't want to show you multiplayer, you know what I mean? Just like I said in the last video, Battlefield went to E3 and put Battlefield 4 out there, even in alpha form. People could play it, people could feel it, you know, they could see it, they could hear it, you know, in full entirety. They could have just stuck with single player like Call of Duty Ghosts did, and show us the dog, fucking Riley, whatever, the dumbass shit. But they didn't do that, you know what I mean? They know gamers want to see multiplayer. And Call of Duty, everybody's banking, oh, the single player looked great, the dog, so the multiplayer is going to be better. How do you correlate the multiplayer being better with them showing you single player? They're not showing you multiplayer for a reason. You would think now, after all this time, and after all the problems and complaints, this would be a time that Activision, if they truly had fixed the game, they would say, you know, let's show them. Again, you ain't got to give out the whole game. Just put a little a little multiplayer demo out there during E3 or during something where you're showing it. And don't, don't do it the way you did it before. Don't get fooled by these little events where they bring the Call of Duty commentators to them and they let them play on LAN. And, you know, and they're all playing together and they try to say, oh, it's different internet connection. No, it's not. They're trying to, that's how they fool people with black ops. Because when you watch those little live streams, it looked like, oh man, the hit detection looks spot on. Look at it, it looks great. All same connection. That's like you playing with five Xboxes at your home. You know what I mean? Well, actually, ten Xboxes, five against five or whatever. All on the same connection. There's no latency hardly because everybody's right there. No, 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 no. Do a, a multiplayer event and let these guys, Team Art and Woody and all them, let them stay at their actual houses and connect. And show us. So somebody's in Texas, somebody's in California, somebody's in Florida, you know, somebody's in Ohio, somebody's in Iowa. Then show us that the connections are running better and, and whatnot. But that's what they won't do because nothing's changed with that. It's going to be the same crap. And they don't want you to see that. So they're holding back the multiplayer until the very last second that they have to show it before the game comes out. And people are going to run out and buy it and then bitch about it and be, you know, fooled again. I won't, but I'm going to laugh at people about it because I'm going to say it's the same pattern. And unless you force them to stop that pattern, they're going to keep doing it because all they care about is milking it. Once you bought the game, they don't give a shit about your bitching. They already made their money. Yeah, they want some DLC money. And then people crack me up buying DLC when they hate the game just because their friends have the DLC, so I uh, might as well get it, you know, I don't really like the game, but I want to play with my friends, and they got the DLC, so I'm, I'm like, wow, you're spending 140 bucks on Call of Duty, and w even when you know it's a shit game, and there's so many much better shooters out there, but people won't branch out, they think, I gotta have Xbox, and I gotta have Call of Duty, that's the whole gaming world, and that's not true at all, but that's my little rant, man, 
Um, I, I feel sorry for the people that's going to be all over Ghost. I mean, if you care about the dog, Riley, and remote control of that, and you care about a multiplayer that, yeah, it might look a little different, it might look pretty or whatever, but it's going to be the same connectivity problems. Hey, good luck with it. I'll holler. Peace.